Hey everybody, it's Collector Dude. I'm back. I'm, uh, I went to Half Price Books today, and <laughs> yeah, I love going there on the weekends. But I went there, and I went to two of them. The second one I went to, they didn't find anything, but it was just good to look through to see what they had, because you never know what you're going to get. Uh, the first one I went through, I found, let me see, I got about 10 books here, and I wasn't going to go through the bins. They have like all the bins that you go through on the top in the wood. And they have these little bins about the size of a uh, comic book uh, short box and plastic. And they have like maybe 50 books in each one. And I was like, ah, I don't want to look through those. And I, I'm glad I did. I found a book in there that was really cool. And I'll, I'll start off with that one. It'll be out of uh, order. But I was going to leave. And I said, you know what? I need to get out of here. And I said, let me go through and just look through. And I found this. I was like, you got to be kidding me. It wasn't in a bag or a board or anything. It just was sitting in there and I'm flipping through and I went, oh my goodness, look at this. It's got a few little things on it. You see a few dents there. But other than that, it's in really good condition. I was like, you got to keep looking. I'm like, I'm glad I didn't, I'm glad I didn't leave. And I looked through, but very cool. Something like this, I would probably keep, I think I'm going to keep but um, some of the other stuff I got from Umbrella Academy and everything, I'm working on getting to sell almost every single one of my books. I, a few books, like I said, Batman Adventures number 12 with the first appearance of Harley Quinn, that book there. Uh, a few other books I plan on keeping, but everything else you've seen me show over the past few, past few years is up for sale. So if you, um, I'll be looking at getting my uh, store online. My girlfriend is doing all this different stuff and everything, coveted comics, um, trying to get it set up on eBay. We just got to get pictures and put everything on. And I'm not going to try to grade everything. Hopefully, I'm going to get a picture of every single, like the front and the back and inside of the book. And I don't want to grade it and have somebody go, oh, it's not that, it's this, or you ripped me off. I don't want to have any of that. So hopefully, if you look at the book and you see it, we do some correspondence or something like that. You know you, you're getting the book for what it is. I'm, and I, if you know me from any of my videos, I try to be fair and everything. And I don't want to um, have anybody be upset. With anything that I'm selling so but uh just I like doing this this is fun I found find books for good price cheap price at half price books I resell it uh, some of them I keep for myself and I don't plan on reselling this stuff for a lot of money because you know what I pay for them but if it's worth a lot if it's something that's really rare I will charge a little bit more for it but I just want to um, get them show you and then move them on and bless whoever I can or make help somebody feel good and have fun with this uh, in this community of um, helping brothers and sisters out in the comic book field and stuff. Because this, like I said, so much stuff you can find. So well, let me get back to let me get to the comic books. I found this one because I, I thought it was really cool. I read the description for it and it says um, it's the Spectre number 51. It says the Spectre sees Batman coming to the city and he's wondering why is he here and he knows he's going after the Joker so that he wants to find out the Spectre wants to find out what makes the Joker tick so he goes into the Joker's mind but somehow the Joker takes over and everything and look and he, he goes nuts or something like that I flipped through it just a little bit I'm like this looks a crazy story I don't think it's worth anything and when I saw it it looked cool so I grabbed it I don't think it's worth anything, but it, it, it it's a great story. So hopefully I'll do a flip through of that one. Because I was like, and Tom Mandrake's artwork, very awesome. I mean, who's the writer? Uh, Jim Ostrander. Very good. That's They're a good team. And then I found these. Truth, red, black, and white. I got the first one before. And they're not worth anything either. But it looked like a good story. because. So I said, you know what, let me get this and check this out. I got one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I said, you know what? Since they got them all, they were $1.75 each, I said, I'm going to get these and check it out. So I'll show you the artwork in it. It's kind of it's kind of different. It's Kyle Baker's artwork. And if you know him, he's got a really cartoony style, like um, uh, Scotty Young, but it's different, even different than that. Here's the first page. And I'll show you. 
Here's some more. Here's like a double page spread on the second couple pages. But the artwork's like that all the way through. So it looks like it's, uh, it looks pretty interesting. Let me see if I can find, like this one right here. A little cartoony stuff. But um, it looks really interesting. The story, just from flipping through it, uh, I said, you know what, this might be something just to enjoy reading to see what they, what the person who came up with the idea, how they chose the soldiers and everything. And here's another one. It's like it's like an added added thing to what Jack Kirby and uh, Stan Lee did. So I said, you know what, grab it. Cool. And this one, I never saw this before. Witchblade Animated Number One. So I thought that was cool. Never saw it before. So I picked it up. Looks good. And these two, these were cool. Wonder Woman, 145, 146, 156, and 157. All drawn on the covers by Adam Hughes. So I grabbed them all. I was like, wow, these are cool. And all this stuff is for all this stuff is going to be for sale. They're all in good condition. Everything, like I said, I'll take pictures of them. Any any nicks or any tears or anything like that or anything that's wrong, if it's folded wrong or whatever. I want to make sure I paid a dollar fifteen for each of these. And they're going for pretty good money. Like 10, 12 bucks. But um, like I said, once I get everything up and going and everything, just check my videos. Anything that you see, just um go on to Right now, we don't have a email. I think we got an email for Coveted Comics or Gmail for, or I think it might be Hotmail. But um, just go to Collector Dude to start off and just talk to me, send me something, say, hey, you, do you have any of this? Do you have any of this? And then we'll work together and I'll tell you what condition it's in. I'll send you pictures to your phone or whatever. Uh, just let you see what it is. And then, like I said, um, I'll see what it is on different sites and I'll check different comic book stores and. Uh, make a make an offer or what I want to charge for it or something like that. And if you have a better offer or something like that, say, hey, if I say 10 bucks and you say, hey, can you take eight? I'm like, yeah, okay. But um, I want to figure out how to put in shipping and handling as well because I wanted to try to do free shipping and handling and maybe work it out where I, where I price the book where it covers everything. And so I make, make the money that I want to make, which is like it's not a lot of money because I have a wealth of books that keep coming in so it's like i don't need to make a killing on these unless unless it's something that's so rare like gary don't no, don't no, no sell it don't collect it don't sell it for 10 bucks that's that's worth a hundred dollars something like that you know i mean i'm looking at it because i've been collecting for 20 30 years so i know i'm not gonna get ripped off but just to do this and buy it and resell it and everything i'm trying to make it fun i don't want to have any uh uh make it too hard or anything like that just keep it simple but like i said if you see anything on any videos that you watch anything that i do and um on my haul videos and stuff that i've shown and you want maybe to buy it or something like that just ask me about it send it to my email or my gmail collect dude zero one at here it is and keep it on my collect dude oh one zero one at gmail.com and uh say hey is that book for sale because like i said some books i'm going to keep um like this said the batman adventures number 12 um that uh, umbrella academy but i have other umbrella academies i have doubles of some of those series that came out uh some of my older books and everything some of the stuff i've been showing on my um bronze age and modern age books them books are for sale so like i said we work something out before i get everything going on with coveted comics we'll do it that way and like i said you know how i send anybody that's won or have you seen any videos for my uh, contest? You know what I send them in. Those real big, um, where's that? Those, I don't have any right now. But you've seen the um, the cases that I send everything in. So we'll work something out. Everything like that. I want to try to start selling some of this stuff and get it out of here and everything. But it's like, I enjoy looking for it. That's the fun part for me. And then I show it to you. And if you want it, hey. Like I said, just contact me and we'll work something out. But thank you very much for watching, you guys. Um, I will try to do some more videos. Hopefully you like the stuff that I'm doing with my previews. I'm reading everything. I'm going to do the Stan Lee book. I'm going to show more of the Bronze Age books because I got like a... Look at this over here. I got a stack over here. I got them. <laughs> and that's all for sale. I got them all. And everything that I show on that Bronze Age thing, I'm selling it. Unless, I, like I said, unless I tell you, no, nah, that one's not for sale. But um, most of it is. So, but thank you very much for watching, you guys. Let me know. Um, what you think in the comments and everything and let's talk and stuff so you guys have a great day and collect dude is out have a good weekend
collect these out.